The Care Racing requires efficiency, precision and stability to obtain simplicity of driving and optimal performance. To reach such results, it's important to work closely with a successful team in order to know the engine functioning and its reactions. A new phacognification system brings an optimization of fluidics during microincision cataract surgery. A wireless pedal with Bluetooth technology optimizes the space used in the operating room. This FACO system comprises three other elements. The computer is based on an algorithm used in both aviation and also in food processing industries. It allows regulation of vacuum settings 350 times per second. The VFM module for vacuum fluidic model, including a vacuum new case set, pinch valve and vacuum sensor. And the compressor module with the new vacuum pump and the compressor. The main goal is to preserve a good fluidic balance, that is a positive pressure in the eye. BSS perfusion provides irrigation flow. Aspiration through FACO needle provides aspiration flow. Liquages at incisions are not neglected and must be taken into account for machine settings. In practice, mix surgery requires an irrigation flow twice as big as aspiration in biaxial and 50% more in coaxial. Too much aspiration will provoke instable entire chamber with the rise of the capsular bag. On the contrary, too much irrigation will produce a distension of zonular fibers by pushing down the capsular bag. The wireless Bluetooth pedal controls the user interface. The bottle height setting is programmed in the computer via the screen interface, provoking irrigation flow to the eye. In the same way, the vacuum setting is programmed on the computer via a screen interface and then information is transferred to the couple pump and servo valve. The major improvement is the new vacuum pump. Its role is to generate the depression inside the case and therefore aspiration flow. The vacuum can reach a maximum of 600 mm of mercury and vacuum rise speed can be adjusted according to surgeon preference. A vacuum sensor measures 250 times per second the supplied real value. Algorithm PID will analyze these data. This active feedback loop is able to adjust in real time the exact vacuum value expected by surgeon. And finally, the compressor creates a reserve of air available at any time during the surgery. Its main role is to activate pneumatic pinch valve used to control aspiration, irrigation, venting, reflux and the vectectomic cutter. We can observe on video the action of pinch valves. Through the surgery, they are closed or opened to select desired functions such as irrigation, aspiration, reflux or venting. We can see with this external view of the case set the tubing system used for irrigation and aspiration. The venting is an automatic procedure that creates some positive pressure inside the aspiration tubing to avoid surge effect. BSS coming from irrigation tubing will pass through aspiration 1. The reflux is the same process but is voluntarily activated by the surgeon with a pedal. During a test with a flexible balloon fixed on aspiration tubing, we can simulate the strong aspiration flow provoked by a cruising brake. At that precise moment, venting role is crucial because it will automatically compensate in a way to keep fluidic balance and so entire chamber stable. This test also shows that tubing must have low compliance power to avoid distension under internal pressure.
Moreover, a flow reducer of 10 cm has been associated to the aspiration tubing. Internal diameter between the entry and the exit is reduced by 50%. Big nucleus fragments are retained by the filter. BSS can pass through without any resistance. With this new technology, aspiration tubing cannot be clogged. This also avoids instability of entire chamber. This vacuum system has an overboost function. It allows to use a higher vacuum settings when necessary at any time during the surgery. Chop technique is then easier thanks to a better nucleus gripping ability. From the side view, we can judge the excellent efficiency in terms of mobilization and followability of crystalline lens fragments, as well as perfect entire chamber stability, especially with high vacuum levels. In my daily practice, I work with a high vacuum setting of 420 mm of mercury and 530 mm of mercury with overboost for shop phase. On the inverse way, ultrasound power is very low, only 15%. Other elements also have a key role in Fredix. Lot of care must be taken with incisions. They must be performed with an appropriately shaped knife to preserve the wound architecture. Introducing the FACO probe vertically will avoid desmetic and stomal tears. The instruments such as the irrigating chopper must provide an irrigation flow sufficient enough to also vary according to the bottle height. As we can notice with a 20 gauge irrigation cannula and a different bottle height, we obtain the following irrigation flow. The first goal of all this technical evolution is to improve our surgical results. Indeed, even if various publications prove the negative role of the high amount of ultrasound emission, what about too much irrigation flow washing endothelial cells? 11 moderate corneal edemas post-op included 30% cornea gutata, were observed and resolved in the week. The most important endothelial cell loss concerned a case where EPT was over 1 second and BSS volume superior to 50 cc. The right FACO machine settings will allow you to obtain efficiency, stability and precision in any simplicity for the safety of your patient.